All right, guys, it's November 11th, 2011, uh, day before the opening of the gun season. And it gives us one more chance to get out here with our bows and uh, get these pre-rutting bucks. So stay with us. It wasn't long after the buck and doe had gone through that these two young bucks was hot on the trail. Uh, it's kind of what you expect this time of year. Anytime you see a hot doe go through with a buck, uh, watch the back trail because usually there will be another one following it. In this case, there were two. Well, about an hour had gone by, and I'd done another rattling sequence, and this big boy showed up about five minutes later. Believe me, the butterflies are really going at this point, and I didn't know what was going to happen next. By the sound of the, my cameraman's breathing in the background, he was... Uh, he was as nervous as I was, uh, but he'd been through this a week before to the day where he shot a nice nine pointer in the same spot. still going so I'm not sure what we got hmm. it's probably a mortal wound but uh, I don't know we'll have to see what uh, what we got he went a long way just have to give him some time I get it done man Not 
See any uh, blood on down there? All right, guys, uh, we're back. It's been about three hours. We let this deer lay. Um, I thought I'd hit it high, but we went back and looked at the film, and I, I definitely hit it high. But the angle that we were, the angle I had on him, it surely it got long. So we're gonna go back and see if we can uh, pick up the trail and, and find this deer. It's a it's a dandy ten point. Uh, be my best deer with a bow and a gun for that matter. So uh, got a lot of butterflies right now. So stay with us. Well, folks, unfortunately for me, that's where that story ends. Uh, the deer never left a blood trail in this thick hunting situation. Trying to find a deer like that is like finding a needle in a haystack. We looked for several hours and just never could pick up a blood trail. Uh, I hated it. Uh, it's really sickening to lose a deer like that, especially when you think you have a pretty good shot, as the video shows. But, uh, you know, that's the way it is, and uh, on Fit to Kill Productions, we try to keep it real and show you real hunting situations, things that we all endure and have dealt with in the past. Uh, fortunately for me, the uh, 2011 gun season opened the next day, and on Sunday, I got a nice trophy, and my son found one as well. All right, folks, this is John Lyons of Fit to Kill Outdoors, and my buddy here, John Parker. It is November. Just had a buck come down off out of the thicket and we got him so uh, we're kind of waiting around to see if something else shows up it's pretty early it's only seven o'clock so uh, we'll go retrieve this deer pretty soon and see what it is it's a it's a buck with a good rack it looks like he's about 150 yards over the hill here He's a lot nicer than I realized when I first shot it. What we got? One, two, three, four. Eight pointer. With no brow tines. That is weird. Huh. I'm a little disappointed by that, but overall, not a bad deer, huh? Not for this part of the country. All right, folks, a little redemption for me. Uh, two days ago, I aired a big 10 point in Fayette County. And uh, the shot looked good, but never had a blood trail, never could find the deer, even after we saw where he went. But today, I'm here in Bath County with my son, who's behind the camera. And uh, we caught this deer coming off this bluff to my left about seven o'clock. He was moving hard and fast, and uh, we barely got a shot at him he, just before he went out of sight. And uh, made a good shot on him, put him down. It's a nice deer. How about it? Well, we were just walking along after a successful deer hunt, and right down there in the creek, I saw this deer skull. But I didn't see this part. All I saw was this the skull. <coughs> And so I said to my dad, hey dad, I found a deer skull. He comes over, and it's, a, and it's a better deer, in terms of antlers, than the one he shot earlier that morning. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, as kids so often will do, they tell it exactly like it is, whether you like it or not. Uh, this buck was really nice in his prime when he was alive, and I would have darn sure been glad to put him on the wall, but... Uh, I'm glad John Parker found him, and uh, it made the morning all that more special. He took home his own special trophy, and uh, hopefully he'll get a shot at one on the hoof here pretty soon. This has been brought to you by Fit to Kill Productions.